Hello friends, on 1st June this year, the war between Russia and Ukraine took a dramatic turn. Ukraine carried out a surprise attack called Operation Spiderweb targeting Russian air bases. This operation used cheap drones, smart planning and accurate intelligence. It caused serious damage to Russia's air power, reportedly destroying around one-third of its long-range bombers fleet. Let us break down what actually happened. Lieutenant General Vasil Malyuk of Ukraine Security Service or SBU planned the Operation Spiderweb. According to President Zelensky, the plan was in the works for about 18 months. It was a direct response to Russian bombers attacking Ukraine cities and infrastructure with cruise missiles. These bombers Tu-95, Tu-22M3 and Tu-160 were based at bases far from Ukraine such as Belaya which is 4,300 km away and Olenya 1,900 km away which were considered safe from attacks. Ukraine's real success was in its secret logistics. Ukrainian agents sent 117 FPV drones into Russia, hidden in wooden crates transported by unsuspecting Russian civilians. Ukrainian agents placed these drones near five air bases spread across five time zones. Open source software and 4G internet enabled Ukrainian agents to control the drones remotely. One hidden base was even set up near a Russian FSB office, the agency that replaced the formidable Soviet KGB after the USSR broke up in 1991. Operation Spiderweb shows how low-cost technology, intelligence and creativity can challenge even a powerful military. The operation raises big questions about the serious weakening of Russia's air power. Will this kind of warfare become the new normal in future conflicts or will other modes emerge? Only time will tell. On June 3, 2025, Ukraine once again showed the power of drones, this time using an underwater drone to strike the Kerch Bridge which connects Russia to Crimea. It is also known as the Crimean Bridge. The attack took place at 4.44 a.m. local time using explosives placed on the bridge's underwater pillars. The Ukrainian security service had secretly planted these explosives over several months. The blast reportedly equaled 1,100 kilograms of TNT, aiming to weaken the underwater support structure of the bridge. Satellite images verified the SBU's video of the underwater explosion as reported by Reuters and the New York Times. Russia admitted there was an explosion but claimed the bridge was still in use and not badly damaged. Ukraine has attacked the bridge three times since 2022. The bridge is very important for Russia, both as a military route and as a symbol of its control over Crimea since 2014. Russian sources claim Ukrainian sea drone involvement. However, this remains unconfirmed. Ukraine destroyed Russian long-range planes using drones in Operation Spiderweb. Russia uses the Tu-95, Tu-22M3, Tu-160 and A-50 for nuclear and conventional strikes. Many are old and expensive to replace. Ukraine deployed 117 FPP drones. Hidden trucks near Russian air bases launched these drones. The coordinated attacks overwhelmed Russian defenses. Even powerful S-300 and S-400 systems could not stop them. Russian mobile networks guided the drones remotely. Ukrainians used the Russian mobile networks. The successful pre-attack evacuation of all Ukrainian agents confirms careful mission 
planning. Ukraine claims that Operation Spiderweb destroyed or damaged 41 Russian aircraft, which is about 34% of Russia's long-range bombers. This includes key planes like the Tu-95 and A-50, which are used for launching cruise missiles and managing air operations. Damages are estimated at around $7 billion. Independent analysts confirmed damage to 13-plus bombers via satellite and drone footage. Russia confirmed attacks on Olenya and Belaya, but denied attacks on Ivanovo, Ryazan and Amur. The surprise attack, described as Russia's Pearl Harbor, shocked many. Exposed aircraft were easy targets. To prevent future attacks, Russia declared states of emergency at key air bases. Russia's air power suffered, but its military remains intact. The loss of 41 strategic bombers is substantial, no doubt. The Tu-95 and Tu-22M3 are obsolete and hard to replace. Losing Russia's limited A-50s weakens their air attack coordination. Nuclear expert Pavel Podvik says this does not threaten Russia. Russia's nuclear power mainly comes from ICBMs and submarines. Russia retains significant ground forces and advanced weaponry. Ukraine likely gained a negotiating advantage from Operation Spiderweb before the Istanbul talks, but it is unclear if that goal was achieved. While $7 billion is a huge amount, it has not broken Russia's war economy. Russia has adapted to Western sanctions by using parallel imports and boosting local production. But the psychological effect is strong. The Wall Street Journal reports that this surprise attack has increased fear and mistrust in the Kremlin. It may even lead to purges within Russian security agencies. For ordinary Russians, the operation shattered the belief that their military was untouchable or invincible. Still, Operation Spiderweb is not a final victory, but a serious warning shot that may force Russia to improve its air defenses and rethink its war strategy. Operation Spiderweb may become a turning point in how wars are fought in the future. According to drone expert James Patton Rogers, this operation offers a window to future war. It shows how small countries or weaker forces can challenge stronger enemies by using smart, low-cost technology and creative planning. Ukraine used inexpensive drones and readily available technology to successfully attack the enemy with minimal risk to its troops. Simple drone attacks using clever tactics can overcome the defenses of even well-protected airbases. The use of ordinary trucks to carry drones into Russian territory and launch them near the airbases was bold and effective. Military experts have compared this to the historic missions like the 1941 SAS raid on Tamworth airfield where 24 Italian planes were destroyed using limited resources. Others compare it to Pearl Harbor for its surprise and impact. But what makes Operation Spiderweb different is the use of modern technology that does not need large forces or high risks. While Spiderweb could inspire similar tactics, it may not become the only model for future warfare. It worked in this case because Russia is a large country with gaps in internal security and a heavy reliance on mobile networks. Also, Ukraine had time to plan and gather intelligence. Still, new models will emerge. Modern warfare uses more than just weapons. Ukraine uses cyber attacks, drones and disinformation. In the future, we may see bigger drone swarms, smarter AI-controlled systems and cyber warfare used together. 
Armies will also try to protect themselves with stronger shelters and electronic defenses. But no air force, whether Russian, American, Chinese or Indian, is completely safe from these kinds of drones. Operation Spiderweb holds important lessons for India. Just like Russia, India's air bases are close to enemy borders, especially near Pakistan and China. If Ukraine can attack Russia's bases thousands of kilometers away, Pakistan may try similar methods against Indian targets. Cheap drones can now fly deep into enemy territory, gather information and destroy important assets. India's challenges include a strong Chinese military, Pakistan's unconventional warfare and Bangladeshi instability. India must act quickly. Military bases need to be spread out, better hidden and protected with improved radar and early warning systems. India must invest in anti-drone technologies and update its defenses to deal with new threats. Ukraine showed that smart planning and cheap tools can hurt a larger enemy. India must not assume that traditional military strength alone will be enough. The future of war will include cyber attacks, drone strikes, intelligence warfare and misinformation campaigns. Operation Spiderweb was a bold and creative move by Ukraine's security service. It successfully damaged Russia's long-range bombers and exposed weaknesses in Russian defenses, causing around $7 billion in losses. While it will not cripple Russia's military, it shows how modern warfare is changing. It proves that small, low-cost tools can cause big damage if used smartly. Military leaders worldwide must rethink their strategies. The ability to reach and damage key assets from far away using drones and civilian infrastructure has changed the rules. Though the use of civilian systems like trucks and phone networks raises ethical concerns, in the brutal reality of war, such concerns are quickly fading. The future of warfare is here and it is fast, cheap and everywhere. In case you have liked my video, please do like, subscribe, comment and share. Thank you.